quite a resounding voice for Canadians. Um, I have to say, a Bell Let's Talk is something very near and dear to me. So I appreciate and respect what you do. Um, can you remember something that someone said to you in the past that was just resounding and motivated you to go further with your career? Well, you know, I had the example of Johan Olaf Koss, who's the founder and CEO of Right to Play, a Norwegian speed skater who used the platform of success in a home Olympics in 94 to really change the world fundamentally when it comes to sport for development. And I just, you know, seeing him, he was really cute, first of all. <laughs> so, and he was wearing like red spandex head to toe. I mean, he looked like Superman, but he was cuter. So that was kind of nice to look at and to follow. <laughs> but Johan is an amazing person and he exemplifies what a true champion means. And that means reaching out, giving back and connecting and, and connecting to humanity, making the world a better place. And with kids, you know, being involved with kids and motivating kids is the best thing that you could do. And, and I just wanted to try to do that from myself and to make sure that I was more than just good at skating in circles or riding my bike down a hill faster than anyone else because in the end that doesn't really add up to that much and when you're done you're done so you, you might as well use a voice when you have it and uh yeah and connect to some pretty cool people along the way <laughs> um in terms of using your voice when you have it everyone remembers you know the speeches and the quotes in hollywood movies the cheesy coach line where he walks into the dressing room or the locker room and he's like this is what we're gonna do i'm amping you up go if you were able to sit down and speak to the competitors this year, what is um, the one thing that you might tell them before they're about to hit the slopes or the ice or just compete in general? Uh, I mean, I would just say unleash. This is your time to unleash your fury on this course and execute the race of your life. Don't hold back and let it fly. That's perfect. Now, I know it's hard to pick favorites, but who's the one athlete that you are looking forward to most in seeing competing? I'm really excited to see Christine Nesbitt skate and um, defend her 1,000 meter Olympic gold medal for Canada. She is an incredible young woman who has an awesome rage on the ice and is a fierce competitor. And when she is at her best, it, I just love that fire in her eyes. And I've seen that back, that glimmer back lately. So I think in Sochi, it's going to be burning pretty hard. I do want to ask We're... if you could make a guess how many golds do you think we're going home with this year? Oh, uh, I have, I mean, I have no idea. Um, I don't want to put a number on it. I just want our athletes, Canada's athletes, to ignite our country, um, to bring back that fire that was lit up in Vancouver from coast to coast to coast. And uh, it's not going to be just gold medals that ignites that fire. It is going to be the spirit of our team. It is going to be the stories of the athletes and, uh, and just their passion for sport and excellence. And that's what I want to see at an unstoppable rate, just pouring into our country from Sochi, Russia. If you were competing this year, what would your number one um, gold medal be for you? <laughs> oh, it, I, you know, I would, well, first of all, it would be myself. <laughs> this is no time for humility. I always wanted to win. I was a competitor, but I would, uh, I would actually love to see uh, final men's hockey Canada versus Russia over time and Canada wins <laughs> because that would just be an incredible story that we would never forget. That would be a fantastic story. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much, Clara, for sitting down with us. We are so excited to introduce um, a strong, resounding voice to our female readers and our male readers, but it's been fantastic to speak to you. Thank you.